Hi, friends. Okay. Uh, this one's about, well, it's called Two Parents at the Chatterbox. It's really about two parents and uh, their experience with Operation Chill Out. Okay, so here we go. Just last Saturday afternoon, I was doing my usual live oldies webcast from the Chatterbox. Uh, I was about an hour into the show when an older couple came over to my uh, control booth. I'd say they look to be just a hair younger than me. Of course, being a bit younger than me doesn't qualify anyone for winning the spring chicken lookalike competition. I, I was pretty sure these two nice folks had been married for quite some time. They were the kind of couple who had been together for quite a while now. I knew because they seemed to act as one. Uh, my first clue was that they both said hello to me at the same exact time. As a single unit, they both gave me a very sincere thank you. It was a thank you without a smile. Those are perhaps the greatest, most serious form of thank you that anyone can give. Think about it. They were, the, uh, they were a bit misty around the eyes as they thanked me for talking up Operation Chill Out. I gave out with a hearty smile coupled with a friendly you're welcome. They said thank you yet again. Then they said how Operation Chill Out saved their son. The dad told me as his wife nodded that their son had returned from service overseas and for whatever reason started having trouble readjusting to uh, life stateside. I didn't get all the details. It wouldn't be right for me to mention them even if I had. Suffice it to say that this couple's son left home and was on the street. This very strong and unified mom and dad were powerless to get him back. They were heartbroken. They were both so proud of their son's service and loved him so, but there was nothing they could do to help. He was living somewhere out in the night. I thought how even when it was daytime, it was night for this young veteran and his folks. I may have this wrong, but somehow Operation Chill Out, I may have the details wrong, but somehow Operation Chill Out found this couple's son while on patrol. It may be uh, that the dad kind of knew where his son was and made the call to Chill Out's hotline. By the way, that number is 1-609-619-0861, 609-619-0861. Whatever the action was that was taken, in short order, it hit pay dirt and got the young man off the streets and to safety. I think now this young veteran is getting the help he needs for PTSD-related troubles. From what I heard from the parents, he was going to be okay all in due time. They were pretty misty about it, but smiling too. They shook hands with me and thanked me for doing what I could to help. That said, holding hands, they headed for home. On his way out, the dad shouted over his shoulder that those folks from Operation Chill Out were the real, real deal. I waved back and cued another record. A perfect choice for the next song would have been the Shirelles singing uh, that song of theirs, Soldier Boy. It starts out with the line that sounds sort of like this, Soldier Boy, I'll be true to you. And I could have dedicated it to those folks, their son, and of course, Operation Chill Out. Now, just a side note here. Most any of uh, anyone who hears my shows will sooner or later hear me talk up a great service called Operation Chill Out. My listeners will hear me say how they're a group made up of mostly but not limited to military veterans. They do their work for the most part statewide uh, here in New Jersey. Uh, they now also operate in northeastern Pennsylvania and also have uh, started covering the entire state of Rhode Island. So they're growing uh, they're, as well they should. Their mission is to do all they can to help the many homeless veterans in our area. On any given day or night, you'll find the good people of Operation Chill Out manning their hotline. Again, that number 609-619-0861. This hotline gives them a, a great efficiency and ability to get to uh, veterans in need of their services. In a way, this method is similar to how many emergency services, from police to rescue squads and fire companies, how they operate. I'm told their ability to act quickly and help more veterans has really grown thanks to this new way of doing things. 
The old method they had of patrolling the streets, alleys, and public places where homeless people might gather worked fairly well in the past, but this incoming call to a dispatch hotline has really helped the organization uh, learn of a problem sooner and get the help teams, help teams out to the veterans uh, in trouble much faster. From what I hear, their phone lines are kept pretty busy and the resulting quicker response has been a game changer and maybe even a lifesaver. The roving patrols are still occasionally used, but the members are finding it much better to go to a dispatch location rather than to ride around searching the ranks of the homeless all day or night and perhaps not finding anyone who needs their help. No matter what method is used uh, to find a vet in need of their services, once Operation Chill Out learns that someone needs their help, they go into action. Uh, without a moment of hesitation, they do all they can to take this person under their wing. They'll get this suffering veteran anything from a meal and shelter to professional therapy for a complicated problem, well, such as uh, PTSD. Operation Chill Out works free of charge and without judgment. Often the hurting veteran that the duty crew is helping on a cold and bitter night or on a bright sunny day in spring is no different than the poor soul that they once were. In many cases, I'm sure the members may have had no trouble at all returning home from service overseas, but they knew someone perhaps who did, and that person is now gone. I, I'm fairly certain that the good people of Operation Chill Out know what the suffering is like because somehow, and in one unique form or another, it was once their suffering too. You know, I'll just bet you that that father and mother I met at the chatterbox the other day, you know, once the smoke clears for them and the troubles are over for their son, I'll bet they're going to do all they can to help Operation Chill Out. In fact, I'll bet the dad's going to re-enlist. <laughs> Again, yes, he had that look about him. I think Operation Chill Out might be getting a new member the way he was, the way he was talking. Okay, anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed that. Keep them in mind, Operation Chill Out. I'll give you that number one more time because that hotline's really a good idea. Uh, and it's available, I guess, day or night. Let me see. I just got to scroll down here and get it for you. Okay, 609-619-0861. Remember, too, you can find Operation Chill Out on the web. Just Google Operation Chill Out. Okay, there you go. I hope you like that. And, uh, again, wonderful people. And, uh, well, uh, certainly a big help to veterans.